the marketing context of this is, hang on, I can make an enormous amount of money out of this. And then if you think about the manufacturing process, it's not that difficult, yeah. Will, because we all know the shape. So it's a simple <laughs> manufacturing process. You put it in a box and you charge insane margin off the back of it. This is, this is you know what I, I love about this is? What you get off on is the profit margin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's, what, that's what gets you really excited. Well, well, and then when you think about the audience as well, right? So, OK, so you, the... It just, if you're doing the business plan, yeah. if you're doing the business plan and you're saying, okay, we're gonna normalize these products, so we're gonna get, we're gonna get one into every single household. Yeah. Just like a television in 1965. Except yeah. in Texas. You're allowed to own as many guns as you want, but you can't own more than six dildos. You can't, no. <laughs> <laughs> so it is the goopification mm. of sex mm. toys, and, and right. by that I mean the Gwyn Gwyneth Paltrow um, site goop. And what it's done is it's co-opted feminist language like, you know, sexual liberation and empowerment. They don't sell it because you want to get off, it's because you want to empower yourself. You but know. it's just a rebrand, right? Like, the mechanics of it haven't really changed from the same devices that were on the market five years ago. Yes. It's just, you know, it's minimalised packaging. I think you'll like find the Quinn is slightly different, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it's got a nice, like... That actually different. just looks like a reboot of uh, Doctor Who and there's a new sonic screwdriver. <laughs> Remarkably the same. Um, no. Uh, like, it's just sort of, it's the same thing. It's just new packaging, it's new materials, it's elevated design, as they call it, but it reflects the bigger conversation that's happening in culture, yeah. which is about, like, sex positivity. So it's, like, talking about, you know, um, sexual orientation, sex work. We're legitimising pleasure as a culture. And because of that, it means, like, we're taking it away from, like, big whopping dildos and men in trench coats. And now it's kind of like these discreet design objets and ads that mm. kind of are very fashionized. So it's just, like, happy people hanging out with their vibrator and their grandma. And it is of that time, because we know now with Gen Z, for example, are having less sex with other people than any other time in, in, in history. You know, they're having more sex by themselves. So this, this market is booming. What about the age demographic of this person in the ad? What's that about? When you think about it, women are more likely to be single now. Like, you know, the, there's marriages breaking up, there's women choosing to be single, and as you were saying before, you know, people are masturbating more than ever. So there is a market now, they've realised, beyond the sort of the youth. <laughs> Russell's giggling. No, I was wondering. Russell's thinking, that's data me. data that says people are masturbating more than ever, right? Well, I, look at... I, okay, I, mean, okay, I want to see at, the evidence. Look at... The, the, <laughs> I do not think you want to see the evidence. <laughs> <laughs> During COVID, the sales of sex products yes. went up exponentially. Yeah. So you can extrapolate yes. from that that people might be wanking more than ever. Yeah.